Good morning. I am Belinda and welcome to Belinda's Baubles Christmas in July. Today is day one and I am excited for the month ahead. I'm working today so I've got my coffee going, a little bit of breakfast for the dogs that I'm starting up and some cherry bread left over. The end of the loaf uh, from some that I baked earlier in the week from my grandmother's recipe. If you're interested in the recipe, it's from a strawberry bread recipe she had. I'm more than willing to share it. Just comment down below and I'll give it to you. It's made with fresh cherries and that's where the color comes from. It's just all that cherry juice. Oh. First cup of the co uh, coffee in the morning. Perfect. I'm using a little bit of stevia and monk fruit. I try to cut back on some of the sugar, but not all. Hence, I've got some in the cherry bread. A little bit of creamer. Yes, I like a little bit of coffee with my creamer, but no. I don't use anywhere near as much creamer as I used to. <laughs> and just a little bit of vanilla powder. Now this is the way to start a morning. I don't know if this is going to be try two, three, four, whatever. I'm going to be throwing a few things together this morning. <laughs> but welcome to um, Christmas in July in Texas. I've already made my coffee this morning. Hopefully I will have been able to show you that. Fed, fed Proby. Put some laundry out on the line. No, I didn't show you any of that part. <laughs> Had a little bit of cherry bread. Been up and down the stairs. And taking a few minutes to be able to crochet. I've recorded all of this at least once or twice. I now have my phone on airplane mode because every time I would get a text or a message, the sound would cut out. I figured I was, I may have just gotten a ding or something like that in the sound. No, it was more than a ding. In honor of the UK YouTubers out there that I follow, the weather today <laughs> is supposed to be about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're look, uh, looking about 37, 38 degrees Celsius, I believe, with a real feel of about 10 degrees higher. I am working on a baby blanket. I have thought it was just going to be three, but I now have four nieces and nephews with babies that one has already been born and three more on the way. So I am was going to do some knitted ones and I need to get a couple of them out of the way. So I'm crocheting a couple since you, you and I both know that's much faster. And I found this pattern. This is the princess. Here we go. This is the princess of diamonds. I'll put a link down below to the um, Ravelry. It's a free pattern online or you can purchase it. I ended up purchasing it just because I wanted to be able to have a little bit more ease with working with it. And after I got started with it, I figured this is one I'll go back to again. This is two days worth of work. This is just what I've been working on over the weekend. So it does go together really fast. 
and this is my first skein or cake rather. This is Premier Parfait Layer. I got about four of these on clearance several years ago, so I don't even know if these are available anymore. Uh, the colorway is Playtime. It's a bulky five, 100% polyester, and each cake has 459 yards for 240 grams. And I'm going to have some extra left over probably, or it'll be close. So I'm going to be be able to get one blanket out of this. So I'm thinking I'm going to be making this blanket a few times because I really do like how it's looking. Only thing I have left is to finish up this double crochet area. And then I have four more rows, I think, and a border. So if I had been off today, this would have been a three-day blanket. So I'm kind of happy with that. So it's great if you um, need something quick. With Christmas in July, I usually do, or I did record back at Christmas time, some different um, lights and displays and stuff like that. So I'm going to take you along um, the way this month and throw those in from time to time. Also, we already had our neighborhood fireworks for 4th of July. So I recorded some of that and I will put that at the end of one of the videos. Seavers and my birthday is this month. So we'll have a little bit of celebration. Grandkids are coming into town. And other than that, um, I've got a week's vacation, but it's gonna be a staycation. So we're just gonna hang out, do things around town mainly, other than we are going down to Waco, which is it's about a two hour drive from here. Um, we're gonna go down there overnight and visit a few places there. I'll take you along. If you're curious about any of the places, I put some hints in my promo, coming on promo. So see if you can figure out where we're going <laughs> and put some comments down below. Sam's going to join me in some of this. So um, Seifer's probably going to join me in some of this, I'm hoping. And Eggie, I'm sure, will have a new adventure. And there's something else I'm planning on doing with Eggie. Eggie is basically a companion for our, if you're new here, for our 23 year old son and I guess for new people I live in Fort Worth Texas with my husband my grown son who just graduated college and is embarking on his new new life and adventures and two chihuahuas we lost one uh, I would have already put a little bit of video of Proby eating his breakfast this morning he is so skinny and tiny and without his teeth, and he has been having a lot of separation anxiety since Steve passed away. So we're having to baby him a little bit more. But then there's also Ziva, our 10-year-old queen of the house. And there is an outside cat that I was worried yesterday because I had not seen freckles in a few days. The food was disappearing, but at night instead of in the morning. And usually he comes around asking for snacks. He's a neighborhood cat. So he share, we share him with multiple households. And he's just, you know, he kind of adopted me other than the other way around because I'm allergic to cats. But I was getting worried. So yesterday I didn't feed him in the morning because I figured he'd come complaining because normally he is laying in the grass when I come home each evening and I had not seen him for three days and I was getting worried. So yesterday I did not feed him. So when I looked out there last night, he was yelling up a storm at me over the fact that I had not fed him on time. So he's okay. <laughs> <sighs> 
these animals, what they do to us. So that is my morning in a nutshell. I have a nine and a half hour shift plus lunch. So I'm going to be gone out of the house. I'm going to um, work on uh, learning how to do my editing on my phone so that I can do that over my lunch hour. And I will upload this to you guys later on this evening. Sorry, it's not an exciting kind of day. Work days aren't. Checking the clock and I better get out of here, hit the road so I don't hit the train. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.